February the 21st, 2021. Guys, you're looking at images of our sun. These are Earth-facing, coming from a satellite called the SDO. And a filament has released, an extremely long filament. And uh, it, what you saw was, as it released it through a coronal mass ejection hour direction, the secondary flare that's the explosion on the surface, and you see it open right there on both sides, it's called a valley of fire, some call it that, but it's actually technically called a hider flare. We've seen them many times. There goes the explosion, but the gravity of the sun pulls part of that energized uh, cloud back into the surface, and it creates this hider flare, or as they, some say, valley of fire. The thing's headed our direction can slow it down just a little it's um if you think about the size of our planet guys it, that's 50 planets long notice on the 19th there's a flare to the right of the sun and i think that's the one that we were tracking or the filament we were tracking just before the ice storm hit that was facing us it didn't release until the 19th and it wasn't but n now we're looking at on the 20th is the first of two explosions the one that we're tracking is that one but above it notice how it lied it's getting right there there's a second one the sun is definitely reacting to going into the next solar cycle the magnetics flip um the po magnetic poles of the sun actually change 11, every 11.8 11 years which is a solar cycle that also relates to the sun's binary twin jupiter it's 11.8 11 year cycle around the sun is the earth has one year it has 11.8 now there's your again both explosions only the first one on the 20th to the left is being tracked and you'll see mercury coming in on the right in this um, image from lasco c3 much wider there's your first explosion uh, around 1430 hours or 1430 hours on the 20th utc but it had already left the sun by that point that white circle is the actual size of the sun and after that you're going to catch one just small frame of the new flare it's not being tracked yet i don't know if uh it's what direction it is moving in exactly because we're seeing the outside around that occulter disc that's blocking the sun but uh the 20 that is just happening it's not in the full film yet because it takes them longer to put the video together than it does to just show you the last image now we're already dealing with an increased solar wind speed start that started actually two days ago this is a three-day chart and on the very left uh, you're at your average about 350 kilometers per second but now we're near 600 you're, you're around uh, a million mile per hour uh, speed there with these uh, the increase of that solar wind it's very fast here's the first one that came out on the 20th to the left of the sun the earth is in the yellow dot it's showing that uh, on the 23rd at 0 hundred hours that strikes our planet then it goes and hits mars which is in the red dot now oh, the 20 on the 23rd at 0 hundred hours should be around 7 p.m tomorrow night east coast because they are five hours ahead of us um, and uh, you Put your UTC time back to uh, East Coast time, or somewhere around 7 p.m. tomorrow night, according to this model. Now, let me say this. Because this energy is traveling 93 million miles from the sun to our planet, it has a seven-hour plus or minus window. So it could come seven hours earlier, seven hours later. Now, these coronal mass ejections, especially with elevated solar wind, always put pressure on the tectonic plates of our planet. We've seen it time and time again. They won't talk about it on mainstream, but uh, I think I've proved it over the last 10 years to where you would have to be blind or just afraid to rewrite the science books or have to go back to school and learn something new. I don't. When, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's not a political thing. But uh, also, people are affected by this dizziness, headaches, weakness, um, things like that. Every time that uh, we see this solar wind get high, plus a coronal mass ejection, a solar flare or something, people are affected. So if, if you start noticing it, this is the reason. Now, look, I'm going to keep an eye on the models and see if they can somehow pick up the secondary. Uh, explosion that we are just now seeing happen 
That will give us an idea of what direction it's going in. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe, guys.